8.03, we are going, to, I'm going to start this and let this run um, while we wait for people to jump on. How's that sound? So just let everybody know, get a little a more detail, kind of, what we do. We're here as housing because I wanted to be a part of something great. Uh, they, they've done a lot for a lot of other firemen, and I've heard nothing but success and, and great stories about it. So it was a no-brainer and uh, great to be a part of. I want, I want to be a part of this wonderful establishment. Actually, Scarlett for her house too, um, and she recommended her to me because they help with um, nurses and firefighters. Um, they help with your closing costs, which was obviously a really awesome incentive for me. Um, so I found out through about the company through her. Oh man, I never thought I would be able to get a house before I met uh, the Scarlett and the Foundation. They helped me out tremendously on fixing everything I needed to get fixed up beforehand and walking me through the process. I never bought a house before, so. Benefited tremendously. I've been saving for a long time, um, so it's really it means a lot to me to have my first house with my fiance, which I'm engaged. Uh, I went into it, uh, you know, a complete rookie. What are you, what are you talking? I, I didn't know anything about buying a house, um, and if there wasn't an immediate answer that they could give us, they knew somebody that would have an answer. And if they didn't, if they weren't in a position to answer the phone right away, they would call us right back or refer us to one of the other team members who was very prompt on their response. Oh man, I never thought I'd be able to get a house before I met uh, the Scarlet Foundation. They helped me out like, tremendously on fixing everything I needed to get fixed up beforehand and walking me through the process. Never bought a house before, so I benefited tremendously. It is a tough profession and a tough job and any time that you have someone that sees the, uh, the importance and it's willing to, to help out that way they are, you know, associated with it, the first responder family or not, um, if they're able to help and willing, it's something that we should definitely take advantage of. I really appreciate that someone is here to step in and support us as nurses. Um, it's really nice to feel like someone's there to support us and be able to get back to us because in our career, we really give back to the community a lot um, with our time. So it's really nice to be able to feel recognized. It feels good to be, to be welcomed and appreciated and, and, uh, and a part of the family. When I didn't understand something and I was texting one of the people on their team, they instantly texted me back and I was like, hey, dumb this down. I don't understand your lingo. I know military lingo, but I don't understand real estate lingo. And instead of laughing at me, they were very cautious to be like, hey, no problem. What did you not understand? And they walked me through everything. I had no questions at the end, maybe because I asked them all, but also they were always answered. Um, Scarlett and Kevin, Captain Rogers, um, the amount of work that they have put into this program is unbelievable. And to see them be able to build it even bigger and excel further and help more firemen, police, military, nurse, any type of first responder, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I think it's a great program, uh, whether you're a nurse, doctor, or first responder, or whatever it may be, uh, to, to have a team that's dedicated to making the health buying or selling experience for you. Um, as easy and seamless as possible, uh, really, really goes a long way, especially in today's market. But Scarlett and Kevin are not trying to sell a house. They're trying to sell a home. So it's a different thing. They care about you beyond just the sale. So I don't know. I really like that. From finding the home to, uh, to negotiating the deal, I think having an agent, especially one that works well with other first responders and maybe is a first responder themselves, uh, is really, really beneficial. You're able to see the, uh, the real estate aspect of it and also take into account what the family's going through as they transition from renting or from the house they're selling to potentially purchasing a new property. And then when it came down to financing, that's where we were able to make better choices because we were at least all on the same page. And that's a huge thing when you're making such a huge investment. This is the biggest investment you're going to make in your entire life. And you need to be able to trust the people that you're doing it with. And I feel completely safe that I made the investment with the best people and absolutely the best team. I can't even put the words how happy I am half the time. I mean, every day I come home uh, to this beautiful house and I never thought that I'd even be owning a house right now. Um, this is a place that we're going to start our family. We're, we're, we're engaged. We're going to get married. And this uh, home is absolutely gorgeous and, and perfect. Well, the way that the program
program benefited us is that it was tailor-made for a military family. She knew exactly what our budget was. She knew exactly what we could work with and how to get the best interest rate for our family, understanding what our needs are as a military family. She also understood why we were looking for the location that we were and what kind of home we were looking for. So all in all, she was excellent in finding those things. Well, the best part is it definitely benefits directly the personnel who serve. And in addition, it's nice to know that my sale is actually helping the foundation too, and it's helping to give back to first responders who need help with their bills and their mortgages. So it's a win-win for both parties. I know Captain Rogers always been a giving type, and just whether it be knowledge or uh, anything, the guy's there to help you. He's one of the few that you can run across in your lifetime, and you're like that guy's really for other people. I know that Scarlett is passionate about first responders and military because she is married to first responder, first of all, and she has military in her family. So I know that's why her heart is passionate towards um, us specifically. And then when it came down to financing, that's where we were able to make better choices because we were at least all on the same page. It really helped as far as the closing costs go. Uh, it helped through the whole process of inspection, the lenders, um, and being able to just save a little bit of money and put that towards fixing the house up and making it a, a home really was important to me personally. It's always nice to feel appreciated and when somebody gives back to you because of what you do for, for others. I also got to be a part of something great. Uh, the program, I think, is fantastic. Scarlett, her team, Geneva, everybody just bent over backwards for us. The gift of uh, the Harris Housing and what they gave back to me in the world. I would recommend the foundation. Um, I'm a big proponent of whatever you're involved in to actually believe in the program as well. Uh, and again, being someone that was able to benefit from it and also now helping other people benefit from it uh, really, really means a lot to me and goes a long way. It's also nice too because we understand that with our purchase with this home, it goes back to the foundation so that way there's other first responders that truly are heroes that I can, they can actually do this. That I really do think that if we didn't have this program, we wouldn't have been able to purchase a home together. It would have taken much longer. We would have had to save up a lot more money to be able to do this. I would recommend Heroes Housing because it's really nice to feel appreciated as a nurse, knowing that we give our time. It's nice to know that someone is appreciating that and someone is recognizing that working as a healthcare professional. Um, even my fiance can't be here today because he's working in the hospital. Uh, it's helping to uh, build a, a foundation and a program that is just going to help so many people. Yeah. The Rogers came through to my family uh, when I was in a coma. I was in a coma for, I think, about 15 days. Um, they came to my family. They uh, asked them what they needed, of course, at first. Um, for there, they um, were gracious enough to help. I think that's awesome. Obviously, I'm in support of military, so knowing that it's going back to military is awesome. And that's why I recommend this program. It, it just, it's kind of like that, that fire department family mentality. You just kind of take care of each other. Uh, covering my mortgage for a month, uh, it, it was wonderful. It's, it's, that's money that right there, for the price of my mortgage, I was able to you know, cover my physical therapy co-pays. So it's more than just getting a house. It's becoming part of a family. You know, the Rogers were there and they helped me focus on my recovery. And that was wonderful. So it's hard to find someone that you can trust, but you can definitely trust Scarlett. I could say that uh, if it wasn't for the great people that I had to set stuff up and get the motion and the ball rolling for me while I was still in the hospital, I might not be as far in my progression of my therapy as I am right now. How much they started from the very beginning of my first interest in getting a house, how she walked me through and was patient with me and helped me through every step of the way to getting closing the house and what they gave back to us was amazing. I mean, Scarlett definitely and our crew was above and beyond what anybody else would do. I owe a lot to the surgeons and the people that helped me, you know, every nurse, every tech, every person that helped me throughout the way, so. Don't be afraid to reach out and ask questions. Um, would have never known any of the answers if I didn't reach out to, to Scarlett and just ask a few simple questions. And she gave me the most honest answers and uh, made what I thought was a dream become a reality. So don't, don't be afraid to take that first step and ask to pick up the phone mm -hmm. and call Scarlett Rogers right now and ask some questions. He's a good salesman. <laughs> it's, it's the truth. It is true. 
So that is just a little bit of who we are. Do not want this to start. So I'm going to go no. Yeah, property boost. That's what I recommend. Yep. If you want to. Property boost. So, hey, oh, we have someone else waiting. This is a different type of webinar. Um, I'm hoping that everybody can hear me right now, but I appreciate you guys being on. I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of what it is that we do. What you guys just saw is um, a couple of different clients that we had. One of them was from our foundation and it's interesting because three of them were actually clients that bought homes. Um, but one of them is actually turning into somebody with the, the foundation. So just wanted to kind of go over tonight an, an explanation of who here is housing is because a lot of people um, if they didn't log on tonight, you're going to be able to watch the replay of this. I asked that we have, we have a couple of our realtors on as well that are realtor affiliates. I started here as housing in 2015 as the wife of a firefighter. And actually at that time I was a realtor. I had 20 something years in lending, but I was a realtor and I got into the business and I really, I just had an amazing passion to kind of help first responders, firefighters, teachers, military, healthcare professionals become homeowners. Back at, during the housing crisis, 2007, 2008, I was in foreclosure prevention and 65%, and I, I went back and looked at the numbers with my office manager and she at that time was my manager. And 65% of the people that were in crisis happened to be teachers, police, military, and firefighters. And it was really strange how we kept getting those. Well, you know, at the time, you know, a lot of people, you had stated income loans, you had, if you could breathe in fog a mirror loans. And, you know, they were giving out loans just about to anybody and that may not, the affordability may not have been there. And people, that's actually how I met my husband. People would just continue to refi and refi and refi their house till it was, became unaffordable. So there was an absolute huge need. And um, once our program started really growing and my business started taking off, we started the foundation. So when you hear about Here is Housing, you hear there's two different things. You hear the, the program where we have all of our realtor affiliates, whom I'm gonna introduce in just one second. There's a couple of them that are on the call and I so love and appreciate you guys. Um, and it's kind of cool because everybody that, that is in our organization somehow is attached and has a passion behind why they want to give 25%. Because you have to understand, they are giving 25% of their income to help you buy a home, right? Um, as our program started growing, we, I realized that I was kind of losing my ability to help the realtors and help grow the program and my manager said you need to go back into lending so 25 years guys that's a long time i thought i was free i spent probably 10 of those 25 as a hold on one second i think someone's trying to reach me and it looks like it's an emergency um sorry, 25 years and about 10 of it was actually loan origination. Then it was processing, then it was underwriting, and then I audited underwriters. So I, I know my way around a mortgage and how it's going to work and how to make them work, right? So my job now is as the, on the lender side. So now we don't just have the, the realtors giving 25%. On the lending side, we're giving 25%, right? So what does that look like? It kind of looks like this. Um, we will waive our appraisal fee, right? And then at closing, we'll do one of two things. Either normally you will get a check at closing from the foundation. So I can make a con my 25% or what's left over after the appraisal into the foundation so you get a check at foundation. That's how a lot of the programs do it. The re I am not able to just waive because I don't own the mortgage company and lending laws are different. Like you can't do things like that in lending. 
So I can write a check to the foundation and the foundation can write a check to the hero, but the realtors actually give 25%. And if you look at, if you go to our website or our YouTube, you'll see, especially if you're buying and selling, people are, I mean, I've seen, I've seen, I know because I've done it. These checks can go up to $4,000, $5,000 real quick if you're selling a house and then buying the house. You know, if you think about what does 25% look like? Well, it's actually at this point, you have the option. Um, if you saw the foundation, if you saw um, our, our guy, Ryan Gould, who was in a car accident, uh, we basically stepped in and before he even woke up from his coma, we stepped in and made his mortgage payment for him, right? So we like to, all of our realtors, I know on all of my deals, to give 5% back into our foundation. Not all of them do that, some of them do, but most of them on our heroes deal, 20% goes to the hero, 5% goes to the foundation. And then when we need it, right, it's there. So it's interesting because the woman with the red hair that is in that commercial, I start seeing on Facebook, her son's in the hospital He's got cystic fibrosis, and he was just um, diagnosed with epilepsy this weekend. And it's like incredibly traumatizing. You know, that's what we're there for. And, and it, our hands are really tied up until this point because we, it was always the hero. Like we have bylaws, and we had it on our board to vote to change the bylaws after a Pasco County um, first firefighter's child had passed away and, and our hands were tied. So we had just literally changed the bylaws like that week and this came up. And we wanna be able to be there and step in and relieve, I call it the bridge the gap. Uh, when I was in foreclosure prevention, a lot of the people that you would find when they do go into foreclosure, it's because when that tragedy hits, they are not prepared in savings to be able to make that payment and make your copay. So where, who do you think gets paid? The hospital doctor that you have to go see or the mortgage? And that's how a lot of people end up really struggling. So we step in with the bridge, the gap. So you can choose. I mean, if we're really, really tight and sometimes, hey, you know what? You have to, you know, need that 25%. That's cool. And if not, we ask, you know, 20% can go to the hero and 5% can go to the foundation on the realtor side. Um, and then on the lending side, my company pays the appraisal fee. And then I personally make a contribution to the foundation and you get a check for that contribution. So um, I'm just wondering, you guys are all muted yourself. I love that you're self muted. We have on the call tonight, um, like I said, we have a lot of affiliates and um, it's funny because you're first on the list and a lot of our realtors who step in and bridge that gap, because you heard my clients, right? We have, we have 34 affiliates at one time. Right now we're at 26 realtors locally and probably 10 outside of our area that are working this program. So if any of you want to step in real quick before I go into any more detail, I would love it. We've got Elise Weber with Excel Realty on. We've got Karen Betts. I can just do a brief and then if they want to step in, that's great. Um, Elise was a healthcare professional. Elise, I like to say is like, she would be the poster child for Heroes Housing. Her sister is a paramedic. She's actually a lieutenant. A single mom, amazing lady. She's a paramedic um, with Hillsborough County Fire. Elise's mother was a teacher their entire life growing up. Elise's father was military, and Elise herself is a healthcare professional in nursing. So it kind of makes sense when she got her license, she immediately came to work with us and is, you know, has supported every event that we've ever done. She's come and helped the foundation amazing lady. Do you want to say anything, Miss Lise? Hey guys. Hi, Sandy. I know that you've heard my voice before. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so I, um, I chose to work with Heroes Housing Assistance because of my history in healthcare. 
uh, my family being heroes. And then I also was a military wife. Um, oh, that's so, right. Sorry yeah. That. So I kind of have a little bit of everything um, in my back pocket. But um, what I really like about the program is that you guys actually do step up and help. Um, it's not just, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Um, because you guys stepped in and paid our first month's mortgage um, when we were working, when we were taking care of our mother when she was dying, which meant a lot to me. So it is something that you guys care about. That's all. Thank you, my friend. Elise, whoever works the Pinellas Largo area, she, the, so that's kind of the area that but she, you know, we all sell everywhere. Um, we have Miss um, Karen Betts. I'd like to say she is our, our military woman and I love her and she is in Central Florida. Bless her heart. She handles Central Florida. So Karen, I just want to introduce yourself and just kind of, you know, what, I love the fact, I love our story, how we met. I had, was, you know, reaching out in the Orlando area. I ended up be, staying like right next door where we park to where she lives. And we've gotten to be really good friends over the past year. So Karen, you know, what made you join with us and, and you know, kind of how do you feel about the program? Well, good evening, everyone. Um, like you said, we met um, online, actually on Facebook, and um, because where I live is Kissimmee, and but you call everything Orlando, so I'm thinking that you were, you know, like 20, 30, 30 plus minutes away from where I was, so um, you asked that I could come meet you, and I'm like, well, I don't drive at night, and uh, you know, I'm thinking I have to go this long distance, and I just recently, well, not too long, moved from uh, San Diego to um, Kissimmee. So, you know, I was a little, I still am, you know, a little gun shy about being out and about too much after dark. <laughs> That's just my thing. <laughs> but I am a, a, a Navy vet um, a long time ago. And uh, what I caught my eye about the program it is just the, the structure of it and it helped at the time give me focus you know because I was new to real estate here in the Florida area and um, it, it helped me to zoom in on a, a, a specific uh, cause then I'm a veteran so I could relate and work with the veterans and speak that language as well as um, with the teachers and um, firefighters and everything and Scarlett was awesome with the coach and she gave me step by step what to do how to do it and I did every single thing she said and um you did actually <laughs> huh I said you did actually I need I need to have you take give me a course now <laughs> <laughs> well I'm here. yes and now um, you're involved with the yes. museum there in central florida right and i'm on the board of directors for the museum uh, that was one of my um outreach yeah. and um sold it. the director there his son sold him his first home um using the program and i've you know done it with veterans and a couple of veterans and i enjoy it you know, I, a, a I, and I appreciate you. I'm glad, we, the community. I'm glad we have you representing Central Florida for us, Miss Karen. Have car will travel. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So next we have Miss Lori mm -hmm. Lascoza, our, one of our more, I guess we would call her veteran realtors, who I just said, please, 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 Lori, tell me what because it's interesting i love when we have people who actually are not directly related at the time we were seeing somebody that was in the fire department so i kept running into her at every place but what is it that draw drew you to this program well if you remember well good evening everyone um we met at the tunnels for tower, tower? yeah which by the way i want to climb i'm climbing it this year if you want to do it with me oh yeah i'll do it for okay. sure Okay. And um, so, yeah, I just, you know, at the time I was dating a firefighter, so it just, it just made sense. And just a way of saying thank you. Yep. 
So how do you feel? Do you, I mean, like working with it and, you know, cause now it's one of those things you don't have to do the program if you don't want to, but I know you love it. And I know that you're passionate about it. Cause I see you talk to people when we're doing the marketing and stuff like that. Um, you know, do you, do you get a lot of uh, benefit from that? Right. Oh yeah. Well, you know, like I said, it's just a, a small token of saying thank you and just, you know, you, you feel good about doing something good like that, you know? Exactly. And I appreciate you because you get out there with us and Lori kind of were, you know, and I, every, I should not say nobody is in a box. Okay. So if, if you're not on this call and you get this email later and because this, this email will be on YouTube, this, this webinar, and then I'm going to share it with everybody and our things. So, you know, we go everywhere, but there's places that we're experts at and then we all travel. Right. So, but Lori does more of our like North Tampa area, Central Tampa, but we go everywhere. Who are we kidding? So um, I, I appreciate you. She's been in the business for a long time. She brings a lot of knowledge to us. And speaking of a lot of knowledge to us, I saved my longest friend for last, Miss Lynn Padilla. Lynn comes from a military background and um, when we started, when we opened up our company separate and she wanted to join, she waited 365 days to the day because that was what our, my agreement said was one year. And she jumped on with us and has been one of our biggest advocates. Lynn, tell me, you know, what is, what is your thought on the program and, and, you know, how have you seen it make a difference in people's life? Well, as you know, my dad was in the military. My brother was in the military. So I've been around military. I worked on MacDill for 10 years. Um, and so I, I see the struggles that especially military have um, trying when they're especially young, young, um, young military yeah, and they have kids and, you know, it's, it's, so for me to help them is, um, it's not, it's a great pleasure, you know, to be able to give them, you know, a portion of my commission back so that, you know, they can afford to have a house. They don't have to be in an apartment with one kid or two kids um, and listening, they're on the top floor and somebody's underneath them listening to them complain because their kids are kids and they wanna play. Um, and making noise and stuff. So I just love the program and, and how it helps, you know, all first responders. Um, and, you know, especially, you know, with you, I, I've known you since, uh, what, 2004. You were my lender when I first started into uh, real estate. Um, and then when I found out that you were actually, you had this program and you were actually opening up um, an office and stuff. Yeah, I was ready to come over to you right off the bat, <laughs> but because of your non-compete, I couldn't until, you know, I had to wait a whole year. So, uh, and this is the best move I've ever made. Um, I just, you know, I just love the program. I love working with you and I love working with all the realtors that we have and everybody's so helpful. You know, if I have, if I'm busy and I have one of my clients calling and need something, you know, everybody's willing to step in to help so that no one is left out in the cold, you know, where, how come she didn't call me? Somebody always calls them, touches base with them, um, you know, just to say, Hey, you know, Lynn's busy. What can I help you with? You know, if it's something that they can help. So, you know, we just have a great team. We really do. Well, thank you. Thank you. And we do. Um, we have, I mean, we're blessed right now to have six on the call. We are, we have 26 in our area, uh, four are actually active first responders. So obviously they, you know, if they are on duty, mm -hmm. we have to kind of all help each other figure out, um, you know, how we can help each other and all this stuff. But so how this really works, it's kind of interesting how, like, it's not just the realtors, all the, and our realtors are amazing. If you see, we have a group, we've, we've got probably, depending on which area, we've got home inspectors, two to three different home inspectors you can choose from, and they each, if you're going to 
be part of our program, you have to give at least 10%, at least. Realtors, you better give 25, but so home inspectors will give 10% of their commission back. Um, sometimes we can negotiate a warranty. I like to write warranties in every single contract, but the lender, so that's me, will give a portion of their commission and then the title, and it's funny because we actually had, and she's not on the call tonight, we have a, one of our realtors, I helped the son buy a house and he's a firefighter, now he's selling it. And she's, you know, was calling title companies and she laughed at me because I'm like, I can't believe one of the title companies had the nerve to tell her that they don't give a discount. I'm like, oh, they're fired, we're not using them. And when you say, up, oh, they're fired, we're not using them again and you're talking about 30 realtors and that's probably was not the best business move in their part today, but, I'm very, very serious about this. I'm, I'm very serious. I'm serious enough to completely change my career and go back on the lending side to kind of come around and support. We, um, we, there's some really neat programs right now, guys, for first responders, aside from what we do, right? The city of Tampa, I'm not a huge fan of it. They will give an extra $5,000 with their Dare to Dream program. My problem with it is, if you get 15,000 plus the five, you still have to pay 50 back. And your mortgage payment's higher, but I mean, it is a program and it's a decent program if you have no money and you're, you're not a VA, because VA is 100%, right? Second, there's um, a really great bond loan and I'm excited to tell the story because today has been, I feel like I got beat up all day long today trying to put deals together but I had a, a firefighter who makes 45,000 a year. So he was under the bond limit of 65,000 and, but he wanted to buy a house and he couldn't quite afford it. And we got to use, which is really cool, a thing called border income. And as long as that roommate didn't kick him over to the 65,000 a year, we could use their rent or having, you know, we you take their tax return, we could use their income to qualify for more of a mortgage and not even be on it. Because, you know, I'm not going to try and talk some kid into putting his girlfriend on a loan when they're not married yet and they're not sure, right? I'm not that kind of person. So border income is a thing. And for the bond loan that we have for first responders, instead of like the Dare to Dream programs, five and a half percent, and the bond loans 4.75. For this program, it's four for Sorry guys. So um, I'm gonna go in stable for a second. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me again. Okay, so that was really, that's a really great program. Um, and then there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about. And then, so you get, so let's say you get the 100%, then our contribution pays for the closing cost. Now, can we get closing, the seller to pay the closing cost? Absolutely. What does that mean? What it means is, you have to raise the purchase price to cover those closing costs. And nine times out of 10, you don't get, especially in this market, it's really hard when you're, when there is nothing on the market right now, right? And buyers, there's a lot of buyers and not very much inventory to be able to talk a seller into paying all your closing costs. That's where we come in. So if you look at it, you can look at it from two ways, how we benefit you, because for one, we help you have a stronger negotiating power. You know, there's realtors, let's face it, realtors are a dime a dozen, right? Well, there's tons of us out there. What sets our group apart is this. If you've got a $200,000 purchase, right? And you have two buyers going to the table, 200,000, what's gonna set them apart is our, and they both need closing costs, Ours are going to need whatever it is that we're giving less. So if it's fifteen hundred from the realtor, one hundred and fifty from the home inspector, five hundred from me, and then they know they're going to get another five hundred or seven hundred from me, right? 
that adds up. That means they need a lot less than this person does. So if this person needs more, what are they gonna do? They're gonna ask for more closing cost, right? And it's gonna be less of a strong offer. So we do help you make a stronger offer. You also are not paying as much for that house because when you have to ask for the closing cost, that means you're having to raise that, the price of your offer and the seller is getting less. If, if we just, if we're helping you out by 15 to $2,000, let's say you can buy that house for 2000 less because the truth is you're having to raise that price up 2000 to get it, you know? So, our realtors are incredibly great negotiators and that is what they, we practice it, we preach it, they are amazing at it. Their job is to get you the best price for your house. They're gonna do a better job of that, being able to negotiate less in closing costs for you. I think I explained that right. Um, if any of you think, if I'm missing anything, I, I mean, I've got such a great panel right now, I would love for you guys you know, to, to jump on. But I mean, those are the two biggest, strongest things because the biggest misconception that breaks my heart is when these young military people go, I don't have to pay anything. It's a, I get a hundred percent. No, you get a hundred percent loan, but you still have to pay closing costs. And there are programs out there that say, oh, just negotiate all the closing costs and we help heroes and they give you like 500 bucks or something. I'm sorry that is bogus okay bogus i can't i i have a, lynn's probably laughing over there right now because i can start itching because it drives me crazy because who's making the money are these companies we are a company we have when you sign up with us you sign a buyer's agreement we sign and you sign stating what we're going to give you Okay, so from the beginning, you have an exclusive buyer's single agency agreement with us, and it says, this is what we're going to give you. You've got that. You see it, you know it. It's not some big old mystery out there. When you go to write the contract, we write it in the contract. You know, you know, um, you, the appraisal fee. Yes, you pay the appraisal because lots of people change their mind, and I've had enough people change their mind on me to know. They need to pay for the appraisal and at closing, I credit the, my company credits the appraisal back. And then 25% of one and a half percent, yes, I'm going to be that crazy lender that tells you what I make. Now, one and a half percent on every deal, you get 25% of that. Okay. And I write a check to the foundation. That is what we do. There is no smoke and mirrors. There's no mystery to it. That is what we do. Okay. Um, We've got a great group of people and I just, I, I can't say enough. I mean, I just actually, it's interesting. I just came from this thing called Illuminate the Bay. I think you can see it on the wall right here, actually. Um, I did a picture there and it was really cool. That's why I was rushing here from here. And it was a bunch of the different, we weren't there because because we weren't there because we were here tonight but we went they asked us to come and listen to the speakers and meet some other nonprofits but there's a lot of um just know whether you're here or not if you're watching this guys and you're watching youtube and you found this somewhere or if you got this in an email and you're like i'm not a hero no but guess what part of our commission i know mine and i know a lot of people on this call contribute part of their commission on top of their deals that are non-heroes. I mean, we've got a couple of realtors that do it on every single deal. And that is what is bridging the gap and stepping in for the heroes when they need it, right? You know, this lady who bought a home and she loves her new home and she just got sucker punched, right? I mean, it was not a fatal car accident and cystic fibrosis and now he just got cerebral palsy and how are you going to deal with your new normal how we're going to deal with the new normal is i'm going to go out there and i'm going to find the money and we're going to make sure that that payment gets made for her this month so that her job right now is focusing on her child right you know weeding through all the mess and and that's what they deserve because the truth is her husband my husband elisa's sister Lisa's dad, Karen herself, 
Lynn's dad, all of these people risked their lives every single day for us, right? Every day. That was their job. That was their normal. And they didn't get paid enough. I, I know it. I live it. I'm married to one. They didn't get paid. I mean, they didn't get paid that much. I mean, they get paid okay. They don't get paid anywhere near what the value of what it is that they do. I mean, we all watched the Super Bowl last night, guys. And you know what? I'm not a big football fan. So we all watched. Okay. Why does that guy get paid what he gets paid? But yeah, my husband who ran into how many buildings and how many mobile homes that were to save people from dying got paid what he got paid. I could really go on that. That's why we do what we do. That's why I'm passionate about what we do. I see these kids. I see these young kids that are starting their career that, you know, that risk their lives every single day. And, you know, it's, if I can do anything I can to help them own a home, then that's what I love. But above that, it's that kid that you saw that was in a, in a coma that, you know, was never going to go back to his job again that we could step in. And there's, you know, quite a few of those type people that and that's what we used to do as the hero as of 2020 with our whole new vision we said you know what this is ridiculous that we can only help the hero the truth is when the hero's wife or the hero's child that there's my eyes going to start twitching now but the fact we couldn't help a child a family that lost a child i didn't sleep and it was horrible and i'm never going to do that again so we went the extra mile we changed our guidelines we changed our mission. And um, so that's, that's my passion. I can, I can get on my soapbox. So um, it is 844 and we've been here for 45 minutes. Does anybody have any questions or anything that I may have left out when I got on my big old soapbox? Anybody? Okay, so how do you get started? Well, most of you are probably in our database. You ask for information, so we send you things, and we don't mean to blow you up. I really don't. I want to make sure that you're not forgotten. That's my, that's my deal. I want to make sure you're not forgotten. I want to make sure that if you want to buy a home that you don't go, oh, man, I saw that, but I didn't really know, and I just paid $2,000 more than I should have, right? Um, call the person back that's that is reaching out to you the realtor or myself the lender um call us back that's the best way to reach us is the number that the person who's trying to reach out to you today because those are the people that have taken the time and the energy um, to get you here tonight and who want to work with you so that's the first thing that i would do uh, if you have not and you want to reach out to one of these people you can go to our website and you can go here and you can go here and let's say you want to find this Karen. I hope this works. I feel bad if it doesn't. Look, there's Karen Betts. See that? That's how you can find us. You want to go down to Tampa? I got to take myself. I'm no longer a realtor. So I got to redo some of this stuff. So this, it's got our list. So, you know, you saw Lynn on the call. There's, you know, our whole list of realtors. So, that, you know, if you want to reach somebody spoke to you, right. And it's just, it really touched you tonight. That's how you can do it. If you just want to, you know, my, this is the thing is, is though, is if you came on this call because of a realtor sent you because you're, you know, you're getting a text message. The best thing to do is respond back. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm ready to go. Hey, I'm ready to get a prequel. You know, I will, I'm probably going to send an email tomorrow, or actually late tonight with this recording to everybody. And with that, I'm going to send a link to the website and I'm going to send a link to my prequel. Wherever you're getting that from, the realtor that you're with, we, everyone that we have is amazing. We are an incredible family. So we will make sure that we partner with you with somebody who's an expert in where you are looking. That's why you get that weird message where I say, you know, what area are you located in? It's because I want to make sure that I'm, I partner you with somebody that's going to best serve you. Because most of the leads, you know, when you ask for information on Facebook, they came into me and then I've 
I will hand them out. If you're only hearing from me so far, it's because I'm trying to still figure out where you are so that I can place you with a realtor that would match you. So I hope that that was, you know, beneficial. I hope that um, if you have any questions, any questions at all, you can, and you're on, you're getting text, re reply to a text. If not, you can email here or actually call this number and it will come directly to me or my husband. And my husband is, like I said, he's a 30 year retired captain and his job now is he runs our office. So he's trying to, you know, now he's captain, he's the captain of our ship, bless his heart. So, you know, you can reach out to either one of us. His phone number is 813-900-9335. Um, he doesn't really practice real estate. He only will do like his people. He will match you up with someone who can, but I would really say go back to the realtor who sent you, or if you don't have a realtor, let me know where you are so that I can make sure that we partner you with someone. The first step usually is to talk to me and we can figure out your best route for financing. All right, guys, thanks and have a fantastic night. And um, I appreciate you guys all being on the call. Thank you.